Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock and I am excited to be hosting my very own challenge and I'm calling it Peace, Love and Art. While I work on this piece of art, which is basically me if I were groovy and sexy and cool as an artist, I wanted to share with you the outline of what's going to be happening for the Peace, Love and Art Challenge that I'm hosting. Peace, Love and Art is all about inspiring you and inspiring me. To inspire you, I want to provide you with some encouragement and inspiration as we get into the summertime because it gets busy. We get busy with vacations and with gardening and going out and doing stuff, just activities. And if you set your art aside for too long, it can kind of feel like starting from square one or at least from square two or three, you're going back and relearning things again because you've lost your skills when you got rusty. So I wanna encourage everybody to keep going even at a small level with some small projects, some big projects, whatever you have time for during this season. And this season of Peace, Love and Art, I'm guessing it's gonna end around August-ish. Depends on when I peter out, we'll see. And you'll find out why I might peter out as we go on. I also wanna inspire me during this time period. And what by that, I mean tackling the stuff that's been on my to-do list for way too long. I have a to-do list that's like just ridiculous. I keep it in a spreadsheet, it's that big. And I list on it the art supplies that I have that I've never used. I list on it ideas for classes. I list on it ideas for individual pieces of art that I just wanna do, topics I wanna tackle, subject matter I'd like to do, just all kinds of stuff is on that list. And I need to start tackling some of it somehow. And a lot of it is one-off projects that don't fit in something else. So I'm gonna to try to use this season to do a bunch of that and find ways to share it. But the key component of Peace, Love and Art is going to be new classes. My plan is, knock on wood, every two weeks or so, I want to launch a new mini class. Those are the intermediate classes that are on the lower price point side because they're shorter. You have less time you need to invest in a class if you take one of those. They're also less in cost because we have inflation going on right now. Has anybody noticed that? We're busy paying for milk and for gas and we don't really need to be paying for really big art classes. So I'm gonna create some of these smaller ones so that more people have the ability to take them. They're gonna be on all different subjects and all different mediums. I launched one just a few days ago, and that one is on watercolor washes with pen and ink. And I'll be doing other mixed media ones. I'll be doing some Copic, I'll be doing some stamped watercolor, all different kinds of fun stuff, all summer long, knock on wood, every two weeks. So let's see how that goes. Throughout Peace, Love and Art, I am going to be doing giveaways regularly. And I'm gonna be giving away stamps. I'll be giving away art supplies. I'll be giving away free classes. And I'll be giving away probably some Zoom sessions even. So you get to have a chance at a Zoom session with me if you'd like. I'm going to be posting all kinds of bonus content. I'll be adding maybe an extra lesson to certain classes on my website. There's also going to be new digital downloads that you'll be able to get. Some will be free, some will not. I'm going to be adding exclusive videos to the Tiny Tutorials class on the app, the Art Venture app. If you don't know about it yet, go download it. The download is free. The Tiny Tutorials class is all of $3 a year for that one. But I'm going to be adding some new content that's only going to be there. Now, how are you going to know about all of this and how to find it? Because it sounds like a lot of stuff, a lot of moving parts, right? It is a lot of moving parts. And what I've decided is I am going to use the art classes email list, which I normally forget about. 
I am a terrible marketer. I don't send out emails on a regular basis like other sites that send you something every week. I don't do that. In this particular season, however, I'm going to send out a weekly email on Wednesdays. And that's going to tell you everything that's gone on the week before and anything you need to know for the week coming up. So week before is going to be what classes or bonus content got uploaded. Week coming up will be, you know, what kind of prizes are going to be given away and what day is the end of whatever time period and how do you enter to potentially qualify to win. So all of that is going to be going on on the email list for art classes. It's not my blog email list. If you subscribe there, it's the art classes one. And there's a link in the doobly-doo to that. There's also a link in the doobly-doo for the app because that might be a place that a lot of content is going to show up at. Speaking of free digital downloads, you can download a version of this image, color it up and post it on your social media to let your friends know you are taking part in peace, love and art and that they should too. And I will provide you with all the links to everything you need down in the doobly-doo. I hope you enjoyed my painting today. I liked it enough that I actually took it to the framers and signed over an arm and a leg so that they would frame it for me professionally because I am terrible at making them look really good. And I hope you will join me for the Peace, Love, and Art Challenge. Your first step is to go sign up for that email list and then just start making art. Just have at it. Sign up for one of the mini classes if you'd like. And next Wednesday, I will send the first of the Peace, Love, and Art emails out to everyone to let you know what's going on next. Thank you so much. Hit that like button if you enjoy this. And I will see you next week, Monday, new video, stamps. Take care, guys. <laughs>